hello guys welcome to the mathematics lesson so in today's mathematics lesson we are just going to look at this task which i gave you because i considered that this video or lesson was going to be long if i were also going to add a new topic after answering these because it is very important that i answer to show you how you should have answered your questions okay so here we are provided this task which says using matrices solve the simultaneous equation so you have these simultaneous equations a b c okay so let's start answering these okay so solutions here so a so you make this simultaneous equation into matrices like here x the coefficient is one here again y the coefficient is negative one here x the coefficient is two here y the coefficient is 5 so you make as a matrix then you pick x here and y you make as a matrix equals here you get 1 again here 16 you make as a matrix then from there you find the determinant of this matrix here okay so the first thing after you do this is to find the determinant which is the determinant is equal to so you get 1 times 5 which is 5 minus 2 times c negative 1 which will be negative 2 then equals then 5 negative negative positive so you get your 2 then it will be 5 plus 2 7 okay then after you do that the next thing that you are going to do is to make sure that you now get the inverse so the inverse you say one over this seven then now you get the values of this matrix you swap them okay this matrix here so five goes here okay then one comes here then you change the signs here so if this is negative then it becomes positive then this one now becomes negative like that then after you do that, you start multiplying like this times this. So you say like 1 over 7 times 5, which will be 5 over 7. Then 1 over 7 times 1, 1 over 7. Then 1 over 7 times negative 2, negative 2 over 7. Then 1 over 7 times 1, 1 over 7. So this becomes the inverse. So once you find the inverse, you get the inverse, this one, multiply it with this part of the matrix and also this part of the matrix. So we'll get this side, we'll just bring it here so that we'll say equals, then we'll pick this, we'll put it here, then times also this. Okay. Then after you do this, you start multiplying now. Okay. So let's just get up here. So you start now multiplying like this times this. So 5 over 7 times 2, 1, it will be 5 over 7. Then you say plus. Then you say 1 over 7 times 2, it will be 2 over 7. Then you shift, you say 5 over 7 times C. Uh, negative 1, it will be negative 5 over 7. Then plus. You say then 1 over 7 times 5, it will be 5 over 7. Then here you shift, you say negative 2 over 7 times 1, you get negative 2 over 7. Then plus 1 over 7 times 2, 2 over 7. Then you shift, you say negative 2 over 7 times C, negative 1, it will be positive 2 over 7. Plus, then you say negative 1 over 7 times 5, it will be 5 over 7. You close, then you get this one, then equals, then this side also, you say 5 over 7 times 1, it will be actually 5 over 7, then plus, you say plus uh, 1 over 7 times 16, it will be 16 over 7, then here you come here, negative 2 over 7 times 1, negative 2 over 7, then you say plus, then 1 over 7 times 16, which will be 16 over 7. Then you close like that. Then after that, you start like adding. So these are fractions. Remember, this is why I started with fractions in the beginning so that you understand fractions so that you use them properly when you reach this stage. Okay, because when I started with the fractions, some of you were saying like, oh, sir, these fractions, are we doing grade eight or whatever? I said, no, it's important for you to know fractions because they are used at many stages in solving mathematics problem like these. So here, when you solve this, you find that you simplify this, you get 1. Also, when you simplify this, you get 0. When you simplify this, you get 0. When you simplify this, you get 1. Okay. So you get what we call the identity matrix. So you get this one, you put there, then equals, then once you get here, 
uh, what you do now you also start adding this like 5 over 7 plus 16 over 7 you get 3 then like negative 2 over 7 plus 16 over 7 you get like 2 so here got 3 here 2 then remember you start multiplying this times this but here i'm just doing it for formality but we know that when you get an identity matrix you multiply it with another matrix the answer is that matrix all right so whatever i'm doing here is just a formality because that concept was already taught so you say like here you say one times x which will be like okay matrix here x then uh, then you say plus then you say now zero times c uh, y it will be zero then again here zero times x zero plus one times y y equals okay so equals this matrix here now so this simply means that if you say like x plus one uh, zero it will be like x all right so x then is equal to three then here you say like zero plus y it will be y then y is equal to two yeah so basically these are the answers so you we have solved so we have four, found that x is equal to three y is equal to two next we look at the other question which is b again here we say solutions so say b will say this here also the coefficient of x is two then the coefficient of y is one the coefficient of x here is three the coefficient of y here is uh, negative two then put these as a matrix then here you get x y in brackets also you make a matrix then here you get 7 over 7 there in brackets then you find the determinant of this matrix which is going to be like 2 times negative 2 negative 4 minus 3 times 1 3 then here to be negative 4 minus 3 you get negative 7 then after that you find now the inverse where you say okay 1 over 7 because this is negative so it will be negative 1 over 7 then you multiply when multiplying now you swap this okay you get these two negative you take it there this positive comes here then these since this is a positive positive you put negative here and since this is also positive you also put negative negative so you change both the signs here then you get you to multiply now you start multiplying like this 7 negative 7 negative 1 over 7 times positive two, negative 2 you get like positive 2 over 7 then negative 1 over 7 times 1 you get like positive 1 over 7 like negative 1 over 7 times negative 3 you get like positive 3 over 7 like negative 1 over 7 times 2 you get like negative 2 over 7 you put it in brackets like that so now you continue now after finding this inverse you multiply it with this matrix here on both sides so you get like the inverse here you get this part you put it here okay then equals then this side also you get the same matrix the inverse here you multiply with this side then what you do now you start multiplying like 2 over 7 times this okay so let's just take it up a bit there so that we start multiplying like 2 over 7 times 2 you get like 4 over 7 then plus then 1 over 7 times 3 you get like 3 over 7 then after that you shift you say again 2 over 7 times 1 you get like a 2 over 7 then plus now instead of plus because this will be a negative so it will be like minus a negative i mean 1 over 7 times 2 it will be like 2 over 7 then here you come here 3 over 7 times 2 6 over 7 then here you are supposed to say plus but this one will produce a negative so it will be like minus like 2 over 7 times 6 6 i mean 2 over 7 times 3 6 over 7 then you shift like again 3 over 7 times 1 you get like 3 over 7 then here instead of saying plus you should say like uh, this negative 2 over 7 times negative 2 it will be positive so it will be like positive 4 over 7 because of that plus so it will match so it will be plus then you close here then it, you bring this one equals then you also say start multiplying here like 2 over 7 times 7 you get like 14 over 7 then like you say plus 1 over 7 times 7 you get like 7 over 7 then here you get like 3 over 7 times 7 you get like 21 over 7 
then here like it will be minus now like here. Uh, 14 over 7 because negative 2 times that would be negative so uh, 2 over 7 times 7 there it will be 14 over 7 like that then after you do that when you add this everything here you get like this inverse matrix okay with this then equals so here if you add this you get here 3 if you add here you get 1 like that then it simply means here don't for uh, you can even go straight to say then x is equal to uh, 3 then y is equal to 1 why because we stated already that uh, um whatever you multiply with the inverse you get the same result so once you reach at this stage you know that your calculations are okay so you can still go directly to concluding that x is equal to 3 y is equal to 1 then from here we go to the last question which was question c solution so say c so here again the coefficient of x is 2 the coefficient of y is negative 3 the coefficient of x here 3 the coefficient of y here 2 so you make a matrix then here you put matrix here then you say equals then also here you get 14 and negative 5 like that then you find the determinant of this which determinant is equal to like 2 times 2 4 minus c okay so like here if you say minus c then if you say like minus uh, 3 times negative 3 it will be negative 9 so that negative 9 and that minus you are supposed to put here they will make a positive so you go directly to positive 9 so you say 4 plus 9 you get 13 then you find the inverse now after you find the determinant so you say 1 over 13 open brackets so these you swap them like this even if you swap them it will be okay so this one you change it as a positive this one you change it as a negative how because you multiply this one by a negative it becomes positive this one by a negative becomes negative then you get this one you bring it in uh you you multiply i mean to find the inverse so like one over th 13 times see? 2 you get like 2 over 13 then here 1 over 13 times 3 you get like 3 over 13 then here 1 over 13 times negative 3 you get like negative 13 over 3 then here 1 over 13 times 2 you get like 2 over 13 then after that you start now getting this inverse multiply it with each part of each side of this uh, equation here so what you are going to do here now you are just going to pick like um you get this one back so you say this one you put it back here you put back this one you bring it here okay like two negative three uh two here then you get this one take it there equals then you get also the same you put here then you get this one you put here then you begin the multiplication okay so what you do you start like multiplying like this times this you get like 4 over 13 then plus like this times this like 9 over 13 then you shift like this times that you get like negative 6 over 13 then plus it like this times that like you get 6 over 13 then this times that you get like negative 6 over 13 then plus like this times that you get like 6 over 13 then you get this times that you get like positive 9 over 13 then plus this times that like 4 over 13 then you close you get this one you say equals then you start again multiplying this times so that you get like 40, 28 over 13 then plus then because of this minus it will be minus like this times so that you get like 15 over 13 then this times so that you get like negative 42 over 13 then like uh, because of this minus here so here it will also be minus like uh, 2 over 13 times 5 you have like uh, 10 over 13 like that then after you do that again this one should do now deteriorate to this one like one zero zero one like that then this one should be like that equals then this you subtract this mm, you discover that the answer will be like um, like one i don't know maybe i made an error let me just try to correct like him um, 
yeah like if i'm i have like 28 minus 15 then divided by 13 so it is giving me one yeah correct then like this one again like 42 minus like oh this is minus 42 so i'll say like um 42 minus minus 10 okay uh what is that so 42 minus then minus 10 that is the answer then divided by 13 i get like negative 4 yeah so here negative 4 you put it like that then again here it will definitely mean x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 4 yeah so this is how you should have answered these questions so you can check your answers and these answers to make sure that your answers are correct in our group okay so guys as for now bye see you in the next lesson when we'll be looking at uh, vectors okay i hope you have enjoyed this topic it has come to an end just like that all right